This is the sixth video of the section, sampling from a chi-squared distribution. In the previous video, we learned about generating samples from a normal distribution. In this video, we'll discuss how to use R to sample from a chi-squared distribution. You need to prepare your environment with R installed. Here, we'll see what chi-squared distribution is. Chi-squared distribution is often used by chi-squared tests to inspect the difference between observed value and expected value or to examine the independence of two variables. In addition, one can infer confidence intervals using chi-square distribution. In the following recipe, we'll discuss how to use R to generate chi-square distribution further. By definition, if x1, x2, xk are k-independent, random variables have the standard normal distribution. Thus, the sum of their square follows a chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom. First, we use R chi squared to generate three samples with a degree of freedom equal to 10. Here's the output. We can then use D chi squared to obtain the density at x equals 3 with a degree of freedom equal to 10. Here's the output. Also, we can use P chi squared and Q chi squared to obtain the distribution function and quantile function of the distribution. We can see the output here. Furthermore, if we can increase degrees of freedom and compare the plot under the circumstances with different degrees of freedom, with a degree of freedom as 1, we can get the following graph. Now let's see the next output for a degree of freedom equal 5, and then for 10 and 50. Amazing! Using the chi-square table allows us to obtain the probability from chi-square distribution of a certain degree of freedom. With the help of R, we can easily find the 95th percentile of the chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom with the following command. Here's the command and here's the output. In this video, we generated chi-square distribution successfully. In the next video, we'll learn understanding students' t-distribution.